go to Briarcrest. got so much so much good now the thing is you got to think and you got to be wise and you got to choose carefully but you've got to choose if you just sit back you're not going to choose the world just goes by you God's got a different plan for everybody last year unemployment was at an all-time low there are jobs you are going to get a job most of you are going to make more money than you ever thought you were. If you've got a brain and ability and a skilled trade degree or entrepreneurial spirit or you're willing to work hard, you're probably going to make some money. That is God's will for you. representative. I oversee all of our incoming students here at Briarcrest from BC, Manitoba, Southeast Sask, and Northwest Ontario. So this is going to conclude day one of my trip here at Briarcrest. Today's Wednesday. I'm here till Friday, so I have to move on Friday as well uh, to get a good experience with the school and to finish my trip. After day one, uh, the hockey program I think is, is fantastic. Um, head coach, totally on point with somebody that I want to play for, the morals, the values that are in place for the school, top to bottom. Um, I really think this hockey program is, is somewhere that I can succeed. And after having a season that I did last year at, at VIU, I think it's very refreshing and makes me happy that I found a program at this point in time 
that has the same values and the expectations and demands for their players and the systems in place for success that I'm looking for and that I want. I don't come from a religious background. I don't come from a Christian background at all. And I think the hardest part for me is just like the culture shock I'm kind of in right now. And I don't mean that in the bad way. I just mean that, that this is something that I've never been exposed to in my life. I've never thought about it. I've never really had any exposure to it whatsoever. And now I'm just so heavy into it because this is such a heavy facet of day-to-day -day life here. And I think, um, obviously, the coaching staff would have to offer me a deal to sign. But the biggest deciding factor, I guess, is going to be that relationship with, with the Lord and with Christ and with Christianity moving forward. Um, yeah, I guess I'll leave it at that and uh, I'll come revisit that, I guess, in two days. responsibility are all also biblically based and I think we focus on that as a school and uh, I think you also get a, a level of care here that you wouldn't get anywhere else you get uh, uh, professors that know you as more than just a student we know you as people we follow you we come to your games we go to your events we get to know you and you know when you graduate from here you're going to be a friend and for the rest of your life whenever you need something we're here because you can always call us so I think that's the business program in a nutshell, is, is a caring environment that's going to give you a really good footing to go forward on. Nice to meet you, man. Thank you very much. Cool. That's good. Yeah, we got, we're going to do this. There that was, you go. That was actually really firm. Okay, so my second day here at Briarcrest is almost done. Uh, I think I'm getting a lot more confident and comfortable like, with the whole culture. This is a hockey-based decision first and foremost, but at the same time, I gotta go to school here. Schooling's looking sharp. But the culture shock also of being such a religious-based school, that's also not just something I'm gonna have to, I guess, put up with. It's gonna be a lifestyle change and a lifestyle choice um, and, and a life change as well. So I'm getting more confident with it. I'm still not 100% certain, certain on, on what I wanna do. Um, the, the hockey program is is still beyond exceeding my expectations. I think things are going great on other teams that aren't religious based. There's a lot of, there's clicks, there's niches, there's guys that get along with certain other guys, a lot of judgment, there's a lot of, just, just a lot of things that, that maybe don't contribute to an overall better team uh, cohesiveness. Decisions will have to be made, both on my behalf and on the team's behalf as well, as far as what we're gonna do moving forward. Um, I think it should be an interesting next 24 hours, because in 24 hours from this point in time, I'm on the highway, I'm on the Trans-Canada back home to Winnipeg, so. Uh, I'm excited. I'm enjoying my time so far. I think things are shaping up really nicely and I'm excited to finish off these last 24 hours for this trip. My name's Adam, I'm a Briarcrest representative here, and I've been with Travis all weekend, taking him around the school and kind of showing him what Briarcrest is all about outside of the hockey program and what life here on campus is like. Generally speaking, when we have students on campus that are touring as a recruit for a school, uh, we want to introduce them to the classes, to chapel life, to dorm life, to everything outside of the sports. And the coach and the team will walk them through everything on the athletic side, generally speaking.
one stick less, trip's over, let's talk about it. So, just had a meeting with the coaching staff. No true decision was made, there wasn't any commitments, there wasn't really anything, just kind of some general feedback in our meetings. I enjoyed being here, I enjoyed being here with the players, meeting some of the, the faculty, the staff of the, the school. My favorite thing out of this entire trip is that although it's a religious Christianity based school, I like that it's almost like a no judgment zone. There's, there, it's, it's just a very team family knit community. I mean, there's only like I think 400, 500 people at the entire school. So I think that would be an automatic for a place such as this. Um, I like the direction of the hockey program. There's nine months, almost nine months in counting until next season begins. The recruiting process probably truly wouldn't start until about February, March when playoffs are ending, teams are done, guys are coming down to check out the school. So as much as I would have liked to have signed a letter of intent to commit today to play for next season, wasn't happening and not even a possibility, I don't I don't think. With that said, I think this being my first experience and exposure to Christ, Christianity, um, a school of this uh, belief and of this religious background, I think it's been very positive overall. Definitely night and day different from my previous experiences at Adrian College, VIU, and Stevenson University doing those recruiting trips. I don't know what's gonna happen. I've kind of had a couple rough months, I guess, or a couple rough weeks of hockey in regards to being released from different teams and not finding the opportunities and the chances that I'd like. I, honestly, I don't even know if this experience or, or this trip could have gone any better um, as far as I'm concerned. I mean, short of getting a letter to sign for the team, I think this was a smashing success in my mind. I'm heading back home right now. I just want to take this opportunity to say thank you to the coaching staff, thank you to the players, thank you to the faculty, thank you to Briarcrest College as a whole and the whole city of Karenport, Saskatchewan for the hospitality and allowing me to be here for the last three days. It has been, it has exceeded all my expectations. I mean, I'm, I'm sad the trip's over. Would have liked for it to last a little bit longer. Uh, all good things do come to an end. I am very happy to be going home and be able to see my family, which is also great. I got some thinking to do, because obviously this isn't just a hockey decision and a school decision. This is also a life decision, but I think that I'm doing the right things. I think I'm on the right track. And whatever happens next, I think is gonna be a good decision for me both life and personally and hockey-wise. So just leave it at that. camera just stayed on there like that. What a time. Unlike my hockey life, my hockey career, sidelineswap.com will not disappoint you at any point in time. They actually have some smoking deals on all pro return new and new sport equipment. The holiday season is upon us. Boxing day has passed. I would highly recommend you go to the website, pick up some stuff, start shopping for next holiday season. Never too early to start Christmas shopping. This is horrible advice. Go to the website. I'll see you next week.